even now, like you get emotional just thinking about how how could he even yeah how could do they that. do that <laughs> yeah how could they bring him back. And to, to be able to play for Denmark and be a part of that group, that group of people is, yeah, it, it's the best. It's the absolute you've had, best. You've had one hell of a journey, mate. Yeah, it's classic. Honestly, it's been, and then, like, <laughs> honestly, it's been one, one hell of a story. And, and you're looking at, obviously, um, the ownership and obviously the tragedy there, um, your footballing journey. And then we just wanted to touch on like the Euros last year with, with obviously Christian Eriksen and his cardiac arrest there. Can we just say, Quickly, big, massive ledge. Well done, by the way. Scored at the weekend against Chelsea. Scored at the international break. Belt just gone well. for Denmark. Two. two, yeah, he scored two. Sorry, <laughs> um, buzzing to see him back, aren't we? What a guy! Absolutely incredible. Well, firstly, I guess tell us about that moment and that day, and then I guess secondly, what that's done to your group following. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, I had a prior experience with with the owner around a football pitch that that ended tragically um but to have that happen the way it did was surreal like it, it wasn't real it like all i kept thinking was this can't be happening this, yeah. this, this can't be real but it was it was very real yeah um and yeah I remember standing around the in trying to shield him from whatever I don't we were just, we didn't know what to do. Yeah. I remember thinking of his wife and his children. I knew they were in the crowd near my wife and kids. I remember thinking if that was me. Um and I remember you know what the paramedics were saying and I remember our doctor just being you talk about legends. Like wow, I've never like n- you can win any league, do anything like that. To do what he did that day is the single most incredible thing I've ever witnessed. To be under that pressure. Yeah. Because that stadium is really, it's a high stadium and they could look straight down. The pressure he was under and the clarity of thought and how fast he acted and how precise he was to save Christian's life yeah. was I. Like, even now, like you get emotional just thinking about how how could he even yeah how could do they that. do that <laughs> yeah how could they bring him back yeah you know and I remember you know seeing seeing Christian's wife and and you know I ran over to her and you know just didn't know what to say yeah. didn't know what to say mm. you know a horrible thing that social media is and all she'd obviously read of course yeah and heard and everyone's saying you know he's gone yeah. and. And yeah, it was it was an insane, insane kind of thing to go through. And um, as a team, <laughs> you know, how do you deal with that? As a manager, our manager, how he dealt with that is like, wow. Really? It, See the in, best of people at times like that? Y- yeah, because we were in a COVID bubble. So, so my wife, we played the FA Cup final. My wife gave birth the day after. And then we had to go to Denmark and go in the COVID bubble. So I wasn't there for six weeks, the first six wow. weeks of, of, of my daughter's life, you know, because we had this ridiculous UEFA bubble yeah. and their stupid rules. That's tough, that. Tough, it's- Double it's, tough, No, that. it's inhumane. Yeah. It's inhumane. So we couldn't see our families. So we had COVID officers there checking out everything. So in the days following, the, the way the FA handled it and the, the way the manager handled it was incredible. Like, training. Yeah. You know, just we're, we're humans in this. You're for obviously wanting we've got a game and all this kind of stuff, but manager called us all together day after and just kind of like, at, you know, was opened it up how people were feeling. Nice. You know, because for me, when we got back to the hotel at night, we obviously lost the game and didn't didn't matter. But Christian was alive. Yeah. Christian was there. You're not at the hotel, but he was alive. Yeah. And that was to me, Compared to what I'd experienced with Vichai, the difference. So I had, I could cling on to that. Uh-huh. 